I went to Harvard Shield University and studied physiotherapy and at the time I was playing for the hockey team um, and then I saw an advert on television about two years after I left university looking for handball players and that's when I started playing handball so I was about 22 then. Oh great, and yeah. um, obviously physiotherapy is very applicable. Yeah. Have you yeah. found that uh, what you've learned in your degree has helped you as you've moved on? Yeah, definitely. But the worst thing is every time I get injured, I'm thinking, oh, no, it's that, it's that. Because obviously I know a bit more detail of things. So it's, uh, it's, I'm not sure if it's a good or bad thing to be a sports person who's also a physio. So, yeah, my teammates are always asking me to help them out, which is a bit boring as well. <laughs> Training and who are at university, so you did hockey at the time. Yeah. How would you um, advise them to juggle there? I think you have to. I think people who do sport at university or at school have the perfect time management. You know, you have to be able to manage your schoolwork, manage going to school as well as all the training. And I think having a good schedule and writing everything down that you have to achieve in that day is really important. And as long as you've got the drive and the motivation to, when you're tired, still get down the gym or get onto the court, then um, you'll succeed. Whatever you whatever you want to do. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I was in their magazine recently, so um, that was nice. They did a feature on me in there, and uh, they're very, I think they're very proud of uh, that I went to university and I'm hopefully going to the Olympics, so they, they like it. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I hope uh, the Olympics that people see handball and think, oh, they wouldn't mind trying that. It's a sport that's different from what's normally played in schools or colleges or even universities, and now a lot more universities are beginning to play handball, so. That's really great and I hope we can inspire more people and more teams to, to start up after the Olympics.